How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing something very very interesting minus the whole lighting situation. Um, we are going to be doing a catch and cook video for fishing. I asked people if they wanted to see something like that and everyone seemed to want to. I asked it on Discord, I've asked it on uh, YouTube and everything else like that and people seem to want to see something like that. So we're going to do so. Now I want to let y'all know that I am no cook. I'm not good at cooking. I mean, I guess I am good at cooking if I have to be. I'm not good at coming up with my own ideas. I can cook. It's okay, I guess. And fishing is not my forte either. It's just a thing I like to do every now and again. I love my girlfriend and everything. We both love fishing. Uh, so that's who's going to go with me, actually. My girlfriend. My girlfriend's going to go fishing with me. And we're. I'm going to be using a reel. It's probably way too big for where we're going. But that's completely okay. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be using today. This right here is the reel that I'm going to be using. The fishing pole and everything. It's called Tiger. I don't know many brands of fishing poles and everything. This isn't even mine. But I will be using it and everything. I use this a couple times. I mainly use it for river fishing. It's a big pole. It's a Shakespeare Tiger. I don't know what the heck that means. If that's a good one or not. I seem to like it. It seems to work pretty dang good for me. So that's what we're going to be using. That's what I'm going to be using. My girlfriend's going to be using something completely different. Something smaller. Uh, where we're going this time though, where we're going for this fishing trip and this fishing video, some we went, is somewhere that we have been before. It was good for me. I caught some stuff using this itself, uh, this pole, but she didn't catch nothing really. So uh, yeah, we're going to attempt to catch something. I think last time we were there, I got an 11 inch bass. It was... No, it was, a, it was a bluegill, my bad. I caught like two 11 inch bluegill, I believe it was. We'll put it on the screen now if I can find the pictures. I have the pictures somewhere on my phone. But we'll put them up on the screen now, what we caught last time we were at this area. Um, and we didn't end up cooking them. So that was my mistake then. We did not end up cooking them, but we're going to this time when we, we catch something. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's go fishing. Also, I figured I should tell you guys the reason why I'm doing this in the first place is not only because I like doing these two individual things, fishing and cooking, but I watch this person on YouTube called Ace Videos, and I've been wanting to do something like that for a long, long time. He does a lot of, a lot of um, catch and cook videos on YouTube, and I just love them so, so much. And I've been talking to my girlfriend for the last couple months about how I want to do this and everything. So I figured today is finally going to be the day that we finally get the chance to start doing this. Make a video on it. Put it on YouTube. See how it does. And just do something I actually am enjoying doing while trying to make some content. So now, without further ado, we got all the poles. We got the tackle box. We got everything else. Let's go ahead and get in the car. Let's go ahead and go to the lake and uh, or pond. Uh, and let's go ahead and start fishing. Alright, so we have a fishing pole actually out there. I forgot to press record, but we actually have a first set today uh, going out. So we have a white lure or fake bait on the hook because the water is murky. We're going to see what we can get out of this. So we ended up changing to a worm because it was not working. We tried and tried and tried with that white um, bait and, and nothing was working like it was supposed to. There's a lot of cars going back, we're by a highway. But nothing was going like it was supposed to, nothing was even nibbling at it. So now we have a worm on there um, and we got just the normal kind of worms you guys can see here. We have those kind of worms, and if you're wondering why my girlfriend isn't right next to me when I told you my girlfriend was going to be here on the trip, she's actually that way. Over there where that red spot is over there, that's, my, that's the car we're driving. She's over there, fishing by herself. We're fishing separate sides of the pond. So we'll go ahead and try with this worm now and see if it does this any better. Got one, got one, got one, hang on, hang on. Got one. Come on, I got one. Yep, I'm on the phone and I got one. 
It's a small one, but I got one. Alrighty, well, uh, we'll go ahead and head on down, down to the river and everything, but thank you. I forgot to ask. No, last I knew, it was that pretty far. So. I mean, that's fine. I caught some stuff then. Alright. Well, thank you. I'll, uh, right. I'll let you know what goes on. Alright. Alright, bye, love you. Bye, love you. So, as you guys just seen, we were on the phone with my mom. I was asking uh, if we could go to her friend's property to fish. We got a little bluegill. Nothing too big. A little bit of a bait one. Woo! Little guy right there. Go ahead and string him up and probably kill him. And then we'll take him down to the river with us where we're going to go fishing next. And try to see what we can catch. They said it's up pretty high, so we might not catch much. But let's go ahead and try this. And we are at the river. She's down there, you can see. Damn. What the hell happened here? Hey, baby. Oh my god, I'm scared of way bad down there. <laughs> Get the bug spray. Where's the bug spray? The one in the car? That's sunscreen. Oh shit. Sunscreen. I thought it was bug spray. I wasn't paying attention to what you had. It's recording now. It's recording now so you can say hi. Look at Is that your shorts from last time we were down here? I brought them down here. Oh, you brought them down here just a second ago? Oh. You look at all the bugs down in the water. Those mosquitoes. That's mosquitoes? Yes. I don't know about all that. I know. I don't want to be down here now. <laughs> I don't think that's all mosquitoes, baby. All down in the water like that. That one maybe. Oh I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> You'll be okay. Here in a minute, I'm gonna also use that fish that we caught a little bit ago as bait. And we're gonna see what we can get off of it. Hey, baby, I need the knife. The knife? We got ourselves a little piece of fish from the thing we caught a little bit ago, and we're gonna try to use that as a bait. And then if that doesn't work, you guys see how murky the water is? That means we're gonna have to do something that has collar or a reflection to maybe get them to see it easier. So we'll try that here soon too. Got one, got one, got one. He broke the fucking line, I think. Got one, got one. You fucking broke off too, or you? Oh yeah, boys, girls, we got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Yes, we do. Oh yeah. He broke loose, didn't he? No? He's just relaxing now. Got him. Big old catfish. Oh yeah. Baby! We got one! Big old catfish, look at that shit. Not big, but definitely good size. Goss a cat. Ready to eat a catfish? Are you eating it with me? I'll try it. I'll try it? Oh man, look at that. Look at that. I wonder what kind it is. I don't even know my kinds of fish, honestly. <laughs> Kiss it. Kiss it. <laughs> now we just need to find a place to skin it, or whatever the hell you, huh? Do that at my house. Wanna do this at your house? Huh? He's still alive, holy shit. 
I want to do it out here though. Like, you can go back to the car. Yep. Oh, okay. Fine with me. I'll be out here doing my thing. Will you bring me my stuff real quick? Huh? Yeah. Thank you. So what we're gonna be doing next is we got a little area for a fire. You guys can see right there. There's stuff for a fire. And we're gonna head and get the fish. We're gonna try at least. I haven't done this too many times. Uh, just enough to somewhat know what we're doing. If I don't know what the hell I'm doing at certain points, then we are going to just look up something on YouTube probably. But that's a little catfish. Nothing too spectacular, nothing too big. But definitely, definitely edible. There he is, right there. Let's go ahead and kill this dude, kick his head off, and see what meat we can get out of him. Not much, though. I can tell you right now, there's not going to be much. This isn't a feast. This is just going to be us trying it. So y'all remember whenever my girlfriend said in the beginning of this clip right here, when we were at the river, that bugs were really bad and mosquitoes were really bad? Uh, she's not wrong. The moment I started messing with fish and doing my own thing, every single mosquito in this place came out after me. So I've been bitten probably about 200 times in the last five minutes, not really, but still. So we're gonna go somewhere else and cook this stuff. So we're getting our stuff. Okay, so after filleting the fish a little bit um, out in the river, of course, we're back here at my girlfriend's house. Um, I did it a little bit differently because this fish wasn't very big at all. I probably should have just like scarred it or made marks in it and then cut its head like off and then gutted it and cooked it whole, uh, which is what I might do next time I get a fish that size. So, but I didn't do that. We just went ahead and took some meat off of it. It's not very much at all. And honestly, I'm glad it's not much at all because I'm just having Haley try it, my girlfriend. But I, of course, I'm gonna try, try some too. But she doesn't really like this stuff and I'm just gonna try to cook it up, have her try it and see what she thinks about it. So, um, yeah, we got it right here in the baggie. We had it in the freezer overnight because, well, when we got home, it was late and we didn't want to cook nothing. Uh, so this is the next day. We have some seasoning here. Of course, it's not Parmesan cheese, but uh, there's some actual stuff inside of it. I don't know what the heck it is. You guys can see right there, it's like some weird smelling good seasoning. Um, my stepmother gave me this. She's really good at cooking, so she knows kind of like spices and everything. And when we looked some stuff up online, something said something about Cajun seasonings and this and that, so she kind of just threw a concoction together. It smells really good. I used it on, last night I used it on deep fried pickles and everything, because I deep fried some pickles last night. And I put some of this in there, it tastes really good. Um, we're actually using the same oil that we use for the pickles also because literally the same exact stuff that we're putting for the fish was also what we used on the pickles. So it's not going to really taste any different. And it doesn't smell like pickles, so it's not going to change the flavor of our fish. So we're going to do that. And then of course, all-purpose flour. We're going to mix that and the seasoning together and then I guess we're just pretty much going to wet down the fish, put it up into some flour, and then that will be it. We're not going too fancy with it. I don't know how you guys cook it. Please, if I am cooking this completely different than you guys would cook this, please don't blast me in the comments to tell me that I'm doing this and this and this wrong. I mean, you can give me recommendations on how to cook things. I would love recommendations, but this is how we cook it where I'm at. We literally just take it, make some seasoning with some flour, put it together, and then you put it in some oil. If there's different ways you guys do it, that's awesome, that's how you guys do it. Just give me some recommendations down below, please. So I don't know exactly how much of this to put. There's not a lot of fish, so probably not a lot of flour. There, there should be about enough, I hope. <laughs> so I gotta keep repouring it, and then this stuff is really, really strong. Um, so I don't think I need to put a lot. There, there's actually about it, looks like. I might put it in the flour, and if it doesn't smell like it's too strong after I put it around the fish and everything, we might put some on the actual fish. And then last but not least, we got this little piece right here. Literally the smallest little piece, which is probably going to be Haley's. There's no bone in it. It's perfectly fine. It looks really, really tasty, actually. Is this ready to go? Oh, it is ready to go. Okay, so the pan, the pan itself is ready to go. I just dipped some of the flour in it and it starts sizzling. Might be a little bit too hot. I don't know what you guys count as too hot for fish. It's actually not hot enough, I would say. You like to, you like to have it go like start bubbling up real big. 
around the fish when you dip it in because it means it's hot enough to start cooking it. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Let's get you guys closer to this oil real quick. So you can see, of course, there's little specks in it from the fried pickles and everything. So no, this, I mean, yes and no, it is dirty, but it's not dirty. It's freshly used, so it's okay. Let's go ahead and drop Haley's piece in there real quick. Oh yeah, look at that, baby. Now, I don't know if you guys like to cook yours on high or not, or what your guys' temperature is, but let's go ahead and go about to seven or eight on the stove at least is what we were trying to go for. You see how it shriveled up a little bit? Every piece here is gonna shrivel up a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, while those cook, I want to ask you guys, do you deep fry your, do you bake your, or do you like cook them on some, like just a little bit of grease? How do you guys cook your fish? I want to know down below how you guys cook the fish and what batter you use, what seasoning you use, and this is for catfish, that is. What do you use for your catfish? Chef? I want to know because I want to learn other ways. And there she is. Nice. <clears throat> Nice fried catfish. Mm, that's good. Try it. Come on. Not that one. That has a bow. Well, this one right here. The one in the middle has no bone. Yeah. So don't want you to talk on a bone. No, try it normal first. You got try it normal and I guess with ketchup. Ruin the catfish. Doesn't taste all freaking fishing crap. I don't like the texture. You don't like the texture? Why not? <laughs> Try it with ketchup. I don't like the texture. Ketchup's not going to help. Well, that was a little bit of a bust. Uh, I know, or I already knew before she tried it that she didn't like fish. She's not much of a fish eater, but she likes the fish. So with her family, she usually does a catch and cook or catch and release type of thing. So she catches the fish and they'll release. They don't usually eat fish here. My family does. So uh, I guess it's good that she tried it. That's a plus. So now we're gonna try it. Uh, we've tried a little bit of a piece. There's a little bit of a snippet of it, uh, but let's try something bigger. So you guys can see right there's what it looks like. I hope it looks good in the camera. I can't see the camera's lens or the screen. It doesn't have a flip around screen. Um, but let's go ahead and for one, let's look at it. It just peels away. It's nice and white on the inside. It's not glossy. It's not like it's cooked. I guess that's what you say because whenever you cook fish, it turns white on the inside. Usually it's clear kind of on the inside, so it's not clear. Um, That is not bad. It's been a minute since I've had, have had since I've had catfish. I'm trying to explain the texture of this one right now. It's like, of course, the meat on the inside. It's kind of like a like a chewy like chicken. It's like a chicken ch type of texture, but not. It's weird. It definitely has a chew to it, but it's definitely cooked, and that tastes awesome. Go ahead and give you guys another look at that real quick. If you guys can see what it looks like, if that's the easiest way to do it, there it is. That's what it looks like. So, and I have a crunch to that. There's some good catfish. I'm trying to find a piece that doesn't have a skin still to it, so I don't know how I'm gonna like that. I guess let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and try the skin. Uh, there's definitely a piece here. You guys can see that. That's just the skin. And it's very weird. I've never tried eating skin. I guess let's go ahead and. Ow, that's hot. This is the most fresh one. So I'm trying to find a place where there's no bone at so I can chew into it and get some of the skin. Because this is the one that had the bone. I think it's over here. So that settles. It doesn't smell bad. It kind of smells like whenever you cook chicken and it still has a skin on it. The skin of the fish kind of smells like the skin of a chicken when you cook it. Like when you leave the skin on the chicken, which I hope you do because no one ever usually peels it off. That's weird. But 
that's crazy. I didn't know it came out that way. That's good. I did not expect it to taste that way, honestly. Holy crap. I definitely didn't expect it to smell that way. It smelled like this skin of a chicken. Whenever you have a chicken leg or whatever, you take just the skin off and you smell it and you eat it. That's what it tastes like and smells like. Hmm. By the way, once again, I'm not just biting into this on really nilly because there is bones in part of this one. I didn't get all the bones off of this one. That's the reason why I'm not doing that, but that is not bad. Now, of course, you heard me talk to my girlfriend a minute ago about ketchup. Um, down here, at least. I don't know about where you guys live up in other states. I don't know if you guys eat ketchup with your fish. Down here, it's kind of a thing for everybody. We eat our fish normal, but then we also every now and again add ketchup. So I kind of want to add some ketchup to one of these and try it that way. Yeah. If I don't drop the damn thing. Good little piece for it. That was good enough, maybe. Make sure I don't get a bone on one of these. Okay. We got some ketchup on one. No, I'm not continuing with doing here. It's weird for me. I have to wait till you leave the room. It's weird for me. I can't do that. You give me, huh? You give me a look every time I come in. You come in, so I can't do that. Okay, so we got some catfish on here, or not some catfish. We got some catfish with some ketchup, and like I said, that's way to, that's the way that people eat it down here. It's not the only way, but it's one of the ways we eat it down here. Um, so. I'm not gonna lie, I just found a bone in that one, so I had to put the bones out. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually prefer it without the ketchup. That did not taste very good with ketchup. It really overpowered the fish. There was like no flavor of fish and only ketchup. So, no. So, that was me cooking the fish that I caught on the video. And I wanna show you guys this real quick before we go. You guys can see here, I hope you guys can see there. Um, we have a picture of it, and we are actually on the app uh, Fish Brain. So if you guys wanna go ahead and follow me on Fish Brain and see places that I have fished, I, some, when I go fishing, I don't fish where I live or like right around where I live. I go to other towns and other rivers and stuff like that and fish. If you guys wanna see where I fish at and everything else, you guys can go ahead and follow me. It's D Mitchell 87 guys can uh, not see right there because it's not focusing but we have the app fish brain so if you guys want to go ahead and see some of the stuff i use like lures what lures i use what baits i use when i'm catching stuff not that i'm not on the videos and the fish that i do catch not on videos and everything and you guys just want to talk and chat you guys go ahead and add, you guys go ahead and add me on there i will leave a link i believe i can do that i gotta figure it out new the app but I'll be leaving a link down below if you guys want to go ahead and follow me and everything else. And I'm not a sponsor, no nothing like that. So I just actually found out about this app because of Ace Videos. Literally half this channel, I have this video right now, is about Ace Videos. But um, we did it, we, we got on this app because of him and everything else. I'm following him and we're starting to post on there now. We post our fish that we caught today, we posted that on there. So go ahead and follow me on there. Find out what I use, what kind of lines, what kind of pole, what kind of bait, what kind of everything we use catch up on some of the fish we've caught outside of making videos and yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook video it's the very first catch and cook video for me it's very very different especially for what's on my channel usually it used to be gaming kind of just dropped out of this and literally recording on a camera like this catching a fish and cooking is like one of the only things I can do right now so if you guys do enjoy videos like this and you guys want to see me do more let me know down below what kind of fish you want to see me catch and what you want me to cook I want you guys to help me out here I want you to leave down below if you guys can what kind of battering you guys like to use, what kind of seasoning you love to use like on every fish you use, what kind of fish is your favorite to eat because I don't know that many fish, there's like 
a few down here that we're usually eating. We have like crappies. They're they're counted as the horrible fish down here. I have never eaten it. I don't know. I don't think. Um, so leave me those recommendations down below. What kind of lines? What kind of poles? I want to hear all your guys' little setup. And then also make sure to follow me on Fish Brain. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next Catch and Cook video, whenever that's going to be. It may be a minute. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching this video. And I guess happy fishing.